Secondary schools across England are making plans to carry out COVID tests on all pupils when they return to classrooms in less than two weeks. Millions of children will be affected and the tests will have to be done both at school and at home. The hope is that the tests, as well as wearing masks in the classroom if social distancing isn't possible, will help to reduce transmission. Our education editor, Bramwyn Jeffries, has been to Shropshire to speak to both parents and students. So I'd get my cotton swab, take off my mask. Brooke is used to the quick COVID yeah. tests. She's been in school during the lockdown. Put it at the back of your throat. Her school is gearing up to test everyone returning. Pop it in the tube and then... Oh. Once schools fully reopen, teenagers will do the same test at home. I think it'll be more difficult for people to do it at home because we only do half of it, we just swab it and then they do the rest, but we're going to have to do all of it. I think some people will complain, but I think they're going to do it by the end anyway. I probably find it easier because I'm more dependent on myself as I'm older and like the younger ones probably need a bit more like reinsurance and help knowing that they're doing it right. The other change, the masks they wear in corridors, compulsory in classrooms too. It can be quite distracting sometimes and because I have asthma it can be heart challenging to breathe but um, it's to keep people safe so. It would be harder to like communicate with the teacher and people in the classroom but it, um, it, would, yeah, it would be difficult. Secondary schools are set up and ready to carry out testing. There will be three tests in school when teenagers all return. And after that, pupils will be encouraged to carry out two tests a week at home. But schools are going to keep some testing capacity, and that's because there will be families who will struggle with this. There's a myriad of concerns. There's the vulnerable children, the children in challenging circumstances, whether they'll be given the, the encouragement to do the test, the space to do the test. Things are very fraught at certain times in some families. I've got teenagers myself. A teenager that doesn't want to do something can be very challenging. Anna's sons, Charlie and James, have been learning at home. She's pleased testing is part of the return to school. Advantages for me is the peace of mind knowing that they're going to be tested and um, I've got a mum who's in a care home at the moment so it's peace of mind because none, none of us have been tested yet. No one's been taught how to do it. We haven't been told by our teachers who've been trained how to do it properly so I'm not sure how that accurate the results will be. For teenagers it's another strange new routine, part of the price of going back into the classroom. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News, Whitchurch.